Hi, I'm one of the Jim Jams. That's either Jane, Arlene, Mary or me, I'm Sheena. Now we know at the moment you can't go to your gymnastics sessions. So we're going to bring you a movement session that you can do in your homes, perhaps with your grown ups or might be your big brothers and sisters. And you can bring your favourite toy. Our favourite toy is Candy Cat. Before we start, we need to make sure we're safe. Have you got a bit of space around you? Check the floor. Carpet's best. Possibly the grass outside if you have a garden. But make sure it, you can't slip. If you have socks on, it might be a good idea to take them off. Right. This week, we're going to go on an animal adventure. But before we start, I might need you to pause the video and go and find something for me. Now, you can either find a small cuddly toy, or if you can't find a small cuddly toy, perhaps you can roll up a pair of socks and use those instead. Are you ready? I'm going to hand you over to Arlene and I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you, Sheena. Hi, everybody. Come and join us in our gym session. Today's session will be all about animals. Oh, and I've got one more friend I nearly forgot. It's Candy the cat. And I'm Arlene. Hi. Oh, Candy cat, what was that? You'd like the preschoolers and the coaches to do an action line with you. Oh, I'm sure we can do that, can't we? Are you ready, everybody? Are you ready, coaches? Are you ready, preschoolers? Okay, off we go. Can you stretch up very tall up on your tiptoes? Can you bend down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Did you get that? Shall we give it another go? Let's try it again. Can you stretch up very tall up on your tiptoes? Can you bend down very small? Can you jump out very wide? Can you rock from side to side? Did you manage to do that? Well, never mind. Next week, we'll probably have another friend helping us out. Well done, Candy Cat. Well done, everybody. And you'll be around again later, won't you? You can sit back on your box and watch the rest of the session. So now we're going to begin with our pulse raiser to get the blood circulating and get our muscles moving. And because we're doing about animals, I thought we'd go down in the jungle. What sort of animals might you see in the jungle? Have a think. Hmm. I wonder, did some of you say you'd see a monkey? Maybe some of you said you would see a crocodile. Some of you might have said you'd see a lion. I wonder if any of you said you would see a slithery, slimy snakes. Those are just some of the animals and now I'm going to put the music on and we're going to be some of those animals in the jungle. Come on, let's go down in the jungle. Have a look what's round. Down in the jungle you will see lots of animals follow me. First we're going to walk in the jungle. And then we're going to run. Lift those knees up, use those arms. jungle you will see lots of what goes snap snap yes crocodiles follow you be a crocodile in the jungle first we're gonna walk in the jungle and then we're going to run follow me come join the fun down in the jungle you will see lots of <laughs> Monkeys, yes, follow me. Oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> First, we'll walk in the jungle. And then we'll run. Follow me, come join the fun. 
down in the jungle you will see lots of what's got a big long trunk. Elephants, that's right, follow me. Let's be an elephant in the jungle. First we're going to walk in the jungle. Then we're going to run. Follow me, come join the fun. Down in the jungle you will see lots of slithery, slimy snakes. Be a snake on the floor. First we're going to walk in the jungle. And then we're going to run. Follow me, come join the fun. Over to Mary. Hello children. I'm Mary. Now that you've done your pulse raise with Arlene, it's time to do some stretching. Now normally in my gym club, I'd use hand apparatus to help with the stretching, but we're not going to use any today. Instead, we're going to pretend to be animals. I wonder if you can guess which animals we're going to pretend to be. Just before we start though, can you check you've got plenty of room around you? Are you ready? Up we go. So you're going to copy my actions and copy what I do. Oh, and if there's a grown-up in the room, they might like to join in too. Are you ready? The first one is a bird from the animal kingdom. Are you ready? This bird has two round eyes and can turn its head from side to side. When it spreads its wings, it likes to fly and it often hunts in the night sky. Did you guess what bird it was? Did you guess it was an owl? You did, well done. Are you ready for the next one? Get ready. This animal can scratch its sides and likes to swing in the trees with its arms out wide. Can you swing in the trees? I know you guessed that one. That was quite an easy one. You guessed it was the monkey, didn't you? I thought you might, well done. Are you ready for the next one? Make sure you've got some space. This animal likes to climb a tree. Can you pretend to climb the tree? It has paws and claws and fur all over, including its four knees. Mm, I wonder what that one was. That was a bit more tricky, wasn't it? It was a bear. Did you guess a bear? Well done, if you did. Right, we're gonna go on the floor now, onto our hands and knees. Are you ready? This little animal has a very small tail. It has a hard shell on its back. And when it's hungry, it pops its head out for a snack. Get ready. Pop your head out of your hard shell. Well done. What did you guess that one to be? Tortoise? Well done, you're right. Let's sit in a tuck shape for our next animal. Are you ready? Try and keep those knees together and feet close to your bottom. This little animal likes to curl up small and when it tucks its head in, it's round like a ball. Can you take your head down? Tuck it in. Did you guess that one? Did you guess it was a hedgehog? Well done, it was. Right, let's sit in our straddle shape for this next one. Make sure your legs are nice and straight. If they are bending, you might need to bring them in a little bit. But we want pointed toes and knees to the ceiling. Are you ready? Okay, this animal likes to go for a walk in the park. And when it gets excited, it wags its tail 
and it sometimes barks. Woof, woof. What was that one? You guessed it was a dog. I thought you might. That was an easy one, wasn't it? Are you ready for the next one? Okay, let's sit in our pipe shape. Are you ready? Sitting up nice and tall, legs nice and straight. Right, this animal has 14 wrinkly toes. It has two big ears. And my goodness, what a long nose. Can you make a long nose? And touch your toes. Now, did you guess what that one was? The long nose, I think, probably gave it away. It was an elephant. That's right. Okay, our last one. This is also a bird. Are you ready? This bird likes to sit on a perch and talk. It has a curved beak. And goes squawk, squawk, squawk. What did you guess that one to be? A parrot? Yes, it was. It was a parrot. Well done. Did you guess all the animals? You did? And did you have a favourite one? Can I show you which was my favourite one? This was my favourite one. This is Henrietta Hedgehog. And do you remember in the warm-up, she likes to curl up small by tucking her head under and she goes round like a ball. <gasps> well done. Now I'm going to pass you over to Jane where you're going to have some more animal fun. But I'll see you again. Bye-bye. Thanks, Mary. That looked like great fun, boys and girls. It's lovely to meet you. My name is Jane and I'm one of the Jim Jams and we're going to carry on doing some work with animals today. We're going to be making some shapes to make us really strong and help us with our gymnastics. So, I've got some cards here and I'm going to ask Candy Cat to hold my cards and pass them to me when I'm ready. Could you hold those for me, Candy Cat? Thank you. So let's think about some shapes that animals might make. Thank you, Candy Cat. Our first animal is this bear. Can you see he sat in a straddle shape? So he's on his bottom with his legs out. Can we try that shape? So sit down on your bottom. Can you stretch your legs out wide? and stretch your arms out wide. That's a beautiful straddle shape. Have you got your knees nice and flat and your toes nice and pointed? And can you sit up straight? Beautiful. Great, let's see who's next. So this bear is balancing on his bottom with one foot in the air. Let's have a go. Sit down on your bottom in your straddle shape. Can you lift one foot up and the other one? Great work. Let's try again. Lift one foot up and the other one. Great work. Let's see who's next. Now we've got another bear and this bear is balancing on his bottom with both feet in the air. Let's have a go. So we're going to sit down, put your hands behind you so you can lean back. One foot, two feet. Really good. Are you balancing? And try to lift off your arms. That's great work, really good balancing. Let's see who's next. This is another bear 
This is a different bear. We've got a polar bear here and they live where it's very, very cold. And you can see this polar bear is rolling around in the snow. Let's try. So we'll sit down again. Can you put your legs out straight in front of you and just make sure there's nothing behind you because we're going to roll back like the bear and come up again. Let's go again, roll back and up again. One more, back we go and up again. Great work. The next card from Candy Cat is an otter. Now this otter is in the water. He's got his feet out and he's lifting his head up to have a look around. So, can you lay down on your back? I want you to lift your feet up, have your front paws out of the water and see if you can lift your head up. Shall we have a little kick and a swim in the water, like the otter? Great work. Any more, Candy Cat? These panda bears have found a slide. Let's see if we can be the shape of the slide so that they can pretend to slide down us. So we're going to sit down on our bottoms again. We're going to put our hands back behind us, feet out straight. And what I want you to try and do is lift up your bottom to make the shape of the slide. And then the pandas can come and slide all the way down your tummy and your legs. Good job. Who's next? Oh. These animals seem to be going over the bridge. Can you see the giraffe and the elephant? Now that needs to be a very strong bridge. Let's be a very strong bridge. Start kneeling this time and you kneel and then I want you to put your hands on the floor in front like this and see if you can stretch your legs back. One, two, to be a really strong bridge. Now, here comes the elephant over the bridge. Are you being strong enough? And here comes the giraffe. Great, my bridge is very strong. Perfect. Shall we see if there's any more? Oh, look who we've got here, an alligator. He starts off flat on his tummy and then he sees the food come in and he pushes up on his legs and opens his mouth ready for the food. Let's be an alligator. Down on your tummy, really flat hands on the floor. Can you put your chin on the floor and wait for that food? When the food comes, get ready to press up and open your mouth. <sighs> Brilliant. Again, flat on the floor. Have your hands down, chin down, very, very still. Here comes the food. Push up. Wow. Well done, boys and girls. Oh, zebra kicking around in the sunshine. Let's have a go. So this time we're going to crouch down. So we've got our toes on the floor. Put your hands ready. See if you can do a little kick. And again, kick. Great. One more, kick. And how about kick, kick, kick. 
Really good. Well done, that's tricky to balance, isn't it? Good work. Our last animal today is a jumpy animal. Can you guess? It's a kangaroo. We're gonna jump, jump, jump like a kangaroo. Have your front paws ready. Those big strong legs like a kangaroo. I'm ready. Let's jump, 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 jump. Can you jump around? And the other way. Can we go side to side? Back to the middle. And let's stop there. That was great work, really good fun. And I will see you later. I'm gonna pass you over to Arlene. Bye bye. Thank you, Jane. Hi again, this is the part where we're going to be doing our balances. So if you've got your sock or your small soft toy ready, this is where you need it. Hi, I've got my elephant today. And I'm going to see if I can balance my elephant on my head. Oh, I don't know if I can. <gasps> now stand up very tall like a giraffe. Well done. Did it stay on your head? Don't worry if it come off. We'll have another go at that. Can you perch it on your shoulder and pretend it's a parrot? If you can, see if you can lift your shoulder up and down. If we do one side, we've got to do the other. So we're going to perch it on the other shoulder and lift the shoulder up and down. Well done. Did you manage to do that? How about going down to our feet then? Put it on your foot. Don't worry if it doesn't stay there. We just try it again. Arms out to the side because they help us balance. And lift your foot up just a little bit off the ground. Are you doing it? and down well done now if you manage to do that this is a little bit harder see if you can balance it on your knee lift your knee up balance it <gasps> arms out because that helps us balance one two three did you do it never mind if you didn't because i'm sure you'll get practice again next week this time i'm going to sit down and i'm going to see if i can balance it on my knees there you are. I'll put my hands down, bouncing on my knees. Abracadabra. It's gone. My soft toy's gone. There it is. Shall we do that again? Put it on your knees. Abracadabra. Disappear. Where is it? Here it is. Well done. That was balancing on our knees and now we're going to squeeze our soft toy between our feet. Put our hands down to the side and we're going to lift up. Can you do that? One, balancing on our bottom. Two, three and down. Back to Mary. Hello everyone. Are you ready to do some jumping and landing practice? Great. Well for this activity you're going to need maybe a soft toy or a tea towel, or even a small cushion to jump over. Whatever you choose, make sure though that if you were to accidentally jump on it, it's not going to make you slip. Right, now let's pretend to be an animal jumping. Which of these two animals do you think is the better one at jumping? Have a look. What did you pick? Did you pick the kangaroo? Well done, definitely good at jumping. Have a look again at the picture and tell me what you can see in the kangaroo's pouch. Did you see a little baby kangaroo? Do you know the name of the baby kangaroo? Is it Joey? Is that what you said? Well done, that's right, it is. Right, let's go and do some jumping. Now, I'm going to use my little soft toy and I'm just going to tuck him in here like this. And let's do some bouncing and jumping. Off we go. Now don't worry if you've got nowhere to tuck your little soft toy, you can always hold on to him. Are you ready? Off you go. Bounce around, push through those ankles. Good jumping everybody. Now we don't need our soft toy at the moment, but we are going to practice our landing shape. 
Do you remember your landing shape? Have a go. Does it look like mine? Are you bending your knees? Are your arms out in front of you? Are you pretending to sit in a chair that isn't there? Well done. Are you ready? Should we practice jumping and landing? Ready? Off you go. Jump, land, pin those knees on the landing and stretch up to finish. Let's try that one more time. Are you ready? When you land, can you hold it and count to three? Are we ready? Off we go. Bend the knees. One, two, three. And stretch to finish. When we land, it doesn't matter if our knees and feet are slightly apart because we don't want you to bash your knees and ankles together. But when we finish, always bring your feet together and a big stretch. Well done. Now we're going to need something to jump over. It might be your soft toy. You might have a tea towel that you've rolled up or you might be lucky enough to have something like this, a snake. I'm going to jump over my snake. Are you ready? Watch me first. Make sure I've got my knees bent when I land and my arms are going to be out in front of me. You ready to watch? Ready? One, two, three. And a big stretch. Were my knees bent? Great. Should we try it together? Are we ready? One, two, three. Jump and land. Land. Hold the landing. One, two, three. Bring those feet together and a big stretch to finish. Can I watch you jump and land? Are you ready? Off you go. Jump in the air. Sit on that chair. Hold it, one, two, three, and stretch back up again. Brilliant. When you landed, did you remember to bend your knees? Were your hands out in front of you? Brilliant, let's do it one more time together. Are we ready? One, two, banana. After three, get ready. One, two, three, jump, land. One, two, three, and a lovely stretch to finish. Well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our jumping and landing. And I think you're going to have some more fun with Arlene. So see you again soon. Bye-bye. I've also got my pigs with me today. It's my hand puppy with pigs on because do you know the rhyme of when I do it can you see if you can point to your fingers that I'm pointing to and this will help with your fine motor skills this little piggy went to the market this little piggy stayed at home this little piggy had a cookie and this little piggy had fun and this little piggy went way home. Shall we do that again? I'll take the finger puppet off this time and we'll point to our fingers as we do it. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed at home. This little piggy had a cookie and this little piggy had fun. This little piggy went wee 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 all the way home. Did you enjoy that? Did you manage to walk those fingers up your arm? It's bye from Mika today, and you're going to have some more fun with Mary now. Hello everyone. For this activity, you're going to need a soft toy and something to use as a target. I'm going to be using Henrietta Hedgehog, and I've got a tea towel. Have you got your things ready? Great. We are going to be doing throwing and catching and throwing at a target. Let's get going. We're going to start in our straddle shape. Candy Cat is already in straddle, so let's see if we can copy her. We're going to be using nice wide legs, 
toes pointed, knees up to the ceiling, straight backs. So before we start throwing and catching, a couple of things to remember. One, don't throw it too high. And two, keep looking at the thing that you're throwing. I'm going to be looking at Henrietta. Shall we have a go? Little throws and a catch. Throw and a catch. Are you doing it? Well done. Don't worry if you drop it. Just pick it back up again and keep practicing. Super. Let's try it in a different shape. Can you see a different shape? <gasps> Bimo is in a pike. Let's bring our legs together into pike. Remember, not too high. Off you go. Good job, everybody. Well done. Now, let's start throwing at a target. If you don't have a target in front of you, you might have a grown-up that you might be able to throw your little soft toy so they can catch it with you. Do you want to watch what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand in front of my target, I'm going to make sure I can see it, and I'm just going to gently throw towards. Why don't you have a go? Ready? Off you go. Great. Now, for some of you, I think that might have been just a little bit too easy. So I'm going to make it a bit more tricky for you. Would you like to watch? I'm going to stand with my back to the target, with my legs open in straddle. There's my straddle. And I'm going to look at my target and I'm going to throw between my legs. Do you think you can do that? Come on then, let's have a go together. Ready? What shape are we standing in? Straddle stand, well done. Don't throw yet. Look at your target. I can see it, off you go. Go on then, have another go. I'm gonna watch you this time. Good job, well done. Let's do one more together. Are you ready? Yay! Well done, everybody. Good coordination there. So, now it's time for you to go and see Jane and to do your cool down. But see you again another time. Bye-bye. I've got a question to ask you now about animals. And I'm going to show you some animals. These are the shapes of the animals. Can you see? What can you see there? What's this animal? This is a snake. And this one? A turtle. And this one? This is an alligator or a crocodile. And this one? The chicken. Now these animals all lay eggs. Did you know that? And we eat eggs, don't we? Whose eggs do we eat? What do you think? Whose eggs do you eat? That's right, the chicken's eggs. Here. Brilliant. Can we make the shape of an egg? Can you sit down on your bottom, tuck your legs up very close to you and hold them and if you tuck your head in, you've made the shape of a little egg. Great. It's time to do our cool down now, just before we go back to Sheena. I'm going to see if I can get Candy Cat to help us. So you give me a minute and I'll see if Candy Cat will join in. Well, I got Candy Cat to help. So we're ready to start cooling down. Can you start by stretching tall? Big stretch up, stretch up, stretch up. Really, really tall. Are you up on your tiptoes? Great work. Can you now stretch wide? We've been a wide shape today, haven't we? And like our elephant, we're going to go side to side. Big and wide, side to side. Great. Let's keep our legs wide. Can you stretch them a little bit further? We're going to drink the water now. We're going to be a giraffe. 
we have to stretch our legs out wide with our long necks going all the way down to the water. And when we get down to the water, we can have a drink. back up again. How about a bird? Maybe an owl stretching its leg and its wing out to the side. Really good. Let's go to the other side. Stretch out your leg and your wing. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Beautiful stretching. Let's finish with a tiny mouse down small. Can you bend your knees? Bend, 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 bend. Tuck your head in and hide away like a little mouse creeping in the house. Lovely work. That's really good. So, we will see you next week, me and Candy Cat, and you'll see Mary and Arlene, and I'm just going to pass you to Sheena, who's going to finish us off for today. So lovely to see you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi. In case you forgot, I'm Sheena. Did you enjoy that session? We came across so many animals and you did some lovely gymnastic shapes. Do you remember when you tucked up very small and you were a little hedgehog? You did some lovely balancing and did you balance on one leg like a flamingo? And then we learnt a bit about an elephant. An elephant has 14 toes. He has four on his front legs and he has three on his back legs. Wow, what a lot of toes. Now to finish with, I thought we'd finish with a rhyme. We're going to sing Row Row the Boat. We're going to have a crocodile going down the stream and I need a really loud scream. And then we're going to be a polar bear going down the river and he's going to do a big shiver at the end. Are you ready? Here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Ah! I hope you were louder than me. Okay, let's row for the polar bear. Row, row, row your boat gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Well done. Give yourselves a big clap. And can you give yourselves a pat on the back? Super. Now, next time, we're going to go on a park adventure. So when you come for the park adventure, if you remember, can you bring with you two tissues? And can you also bring with you two sticks or two wooden spoons or something similar? Okay, bye for now and we'll see you soon from the Jim Jams. Bye.